the parent uh, quadratic function y equals x squared goes through the points that are highlighted on the graph over here. If it's not clear why, it comes from the xy table here. So for example, when x is equal to negative 2 on the parent, y is equal to 4. So we should have a good picture of this basic, what's called a parabola shape uh, in our mind for any function which involves an x squared. So we can see that this function that we originally looked at is the same thing except we add 3. And the effect that that adding 3 has is it's going to shift all our points up by 3. So this new graph in the red dots represents that transformation, each point moving up exactly three units. I can also see that by creating an xy table and evaluating based on my newly translated function. And that should match the points that I have here on the graph. So for example, negative 2 squared is going to be 4, and 4 plus 3 is equal to 7 which is as I expected and as I got in my graph. At negative 2, when I have an x value of negative 2, my corresponding y value on the translated graph is at 7, and this should carry through for the rest. For negative 1, I'm at 4. For 0, I'm at 3, etc. So I want to reiterate that this graph, y equals x squared plus 3, is going to simply be a translation of my parent quadratic, y equals x squared, which shape I should be, become very familiar with, shifted up by three units. And that plus three at the end indicates a shift up by three units. Hope that helps. Thank you.